what we're looking at in this area is what happens when those changes of state take place and what the keywords mean. So if you heat up a solid, it will melt and turn into a liquid. If you then heat that up further, it will evaporate or boil and turn into a gas. If you cool down a gas, you condense it and turn it into a liquid. Cool it further, you freeze it and turn it into a solid. Finally, you can turn a solid straight into a gas. That process is sublimation, and the reverse of that turning a gas into a solid is deposition. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of test questions then. So you have two to have a go at here. Number one, which is describe what sublimation and deposition mean. And number two, which is explain the difference between evaporation and condensation. You should notice that there is a difference between the two questions in one is asking for a description and one is asking for you to explain. When it says describe, that is just put the facts down explain you should talk about exactly what the words mean and go into a bit more detail. Pause the video now and have a go at the two questions for me. Okay, question one then. It says describe what sublimation and deposition mean. Sublimation is where a solid turns into a gas for one mark. The key thing there is solid into gas. Deposition is gas turning into a solid for one mark. Question two, which is evaporate the diff explain the difference between evaporation and condensation. There are quite a few ways you can get the marks here. So condensation is where a gas turns into a liquid. That's the description of what the word means. The explanation is saying when that happens, so when it is cooled. So the full sentence, a condensation is where a gas turns into a liquid when it is cooled. Other ways you can get the mark are doing exactly the same with evaporation. So you could then turn around and say evaporation is the opposite of condensation and then going into detail about it saying where a liquid turns into a gas for one mark when heated for one mark. Okay, hopefully that should help you with the states of matter section. Check your learning. Can you give me a description of what each of these six keywords means? That ends this video.